I'm kind of curious to see, you know, how much faster a OnePlus 7 Pro or iPhone 10 is compared to one each other. So let's get into it. All right, so I moved about 15 feet. Now this is going to be a super quick one. I just have a couple apps that I want to load up. Now, technically speaking, the OnePlus 7 Pro has way better specs on paper than the iPhone 10. So I am kind of curious to see how much better the OnePlus 7 Pro is. But again, sometimes you never know. So let's go ahead and load up Facebook. Three, two, one. With these small apps, it's kind of hit or miss. You know, the OnePlus 7 Pro one there, as it probably should have. Let's do Netflix. Three, two, one. And again, the OnePlus 7 Pro is faster. And they're both pretty much updated to the most, you know, up-to-date version of both of these softwares. Let's go ahead and do Quizlet. Three, two, one. And again, the OnePlus 7 Pro is substantially faster in my opinion. It's not even just like a little bit. It's pretty noticeable. Let's go do Dropbox. Three, two, one. And again, the OnePlus 7 Pro is faster. This is pretty impressive. Let's do Bofa. Three, two, one. Again, OnePlus 7 Pro is faster. I think that's going to be a reoccurring trend in this comparison. And why iPhone 10 is still loading. That one took forever for some reason. I don't know what was going on there. Let's do Thank You. Three, two, one. And I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. And as you can see, the OnePlus 7 Pro did get into it. Let's see if they stutter at all. I think they're good. And some games I realized don't really take advantage of the 90 hertz refresh rate. It could just be my eyes. Maybe it's just like a stupid thing I just said. But that is, uh, oh, actually, no, I take that back. I think the OnePlus 7 Pro is still as, you know, still pretty capable in that sense. Let's go ahead and do stack, three, two, one. Now, a super annoying thing about stack is that it always, you know, has that pop-up that comes up. Let's do snake versus blocks, three, two, one. And again, the OnePlus 7 Pro one in that sense. Now, I think an ad does pop up. Okay, so it's down there, so it's no big deal. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see if any of these stutter. And I think they're both playing pretty well. So not really running into too many problems there, so that's good. Actually, I love playing this game on camera, so we're going to play this for a second. But the cool thing about the OnePlus 7 Pro is, like I said, you do have specific gaming modes like you might have seen up there. So even though on the OnePlus 7 Pro it's faster, all this stuff, it actually does kind of clock up the CPU in my sense in the sense that it does enable the gaming mode so it uses up more resources so that might mean that it closes things out in the background for RAM management who knows so I'll load up older apps in a second but let's do Temple Run three two one now this is a classic game you know if you guys don't know about Temple Run you guys are missing out on life like I don't even know what you guys are doing at that sense so we're gonna redo that three two one and it might be that the iPhone 10 is going to beat the OnePlus 7 Pro at something finally and yeah, you know, just by a little bit though, it wasn't really that big of a difference in my opinion, but it's still, you know, it was close. Let's do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And the OnePlus 7 Pro, they're kind of glitched up a little bit, which is kind of interesting. As you can see, we're already into the game here and we're just kind of, I guess we finally got into it on the iPhone 10 over there too. So kind of weird, you know, I was expecting the iPhone 10 to be, you know, somewhat faster maybe. Let's go and do Real Racing 3, three, two, one. Now this is a pretty big game, so I would be pretty shocked to see if the OnePlus 7 Pro would be slower in a sense. But another thing you have to keep in mind is that on the iPhone 10, I've been playing this game quite a bit, and you can see we're already in the OnePlus 7 Pro, we're into it. Which is crazy because as you open more games and everything, now we're finally into it on the iPhone 10. But as you open more games, more of those apps and everything are cached in the background, so... I don't really play it that often on the OnePlus 7 Pro, but on my iPhone 10, I have played these things probably a lot more than on the OnePlus 7 Pro, which is weird. So let's see how good RAM management was on both of these devices. Let's go ahead and open up like Facebook, for example, three, two, one. And as you can see, the OnePlus 7 Pro still kept it in the background. The iPhone 10 did end up closing it in the background. So let's go ahead and open up like Netflix, which should be open on both. See again on the iPhone 10, even though it only has four gigs of RAM, usually on iOS, it isn't really that bad but again we're on iOS 13 on here and we're on you know oxygen OS on here so maybe there are some issues there we can go ahead and load up temple run which we just opened not even that long ago three two one okay they're both good on there okay so thankfully that didn't end up messing up but as you can see the OnePlus 7 Pro is substantially faster than the iPhone 10 I was not expecting it to be that much faster I was expecting it to be you know sometimes faster on the OnePlus 7 Pro sometimes faster on the iPhone 10 but I would say about like only one app opened up faster on the iPhone 10 which was you know tumble run so that's pretty crazy